Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we're going to be talking about how you can start mining Holo Hotcoin using your Windows 10 or 11 based computer here in 2024 in less than 10 minutes. So if all of that sounds interesting to you, I do want to make sure to ask you to stick around through the entire video so that you don't miss out on any of the great tips and tricks that I have to help you earn and keep more cryptocurrency as you start your mining journey here in 2024. So before we dive into the video, I do always like to start off here on CoinMarketCap, just taking a quick look at what's been going on in the crypto market as a point of reference if you happen to be watching this video in the future. So if you aren't interested in this portion of the video, please feel free to skip ahead one to two minutes and we'll be getting into the tutorial then. But overall, as you can see here, crypto is looking really strong. Total market cap of 2.39 trillion with a, an increase of 1.67% here over the last 24 hours. Of course, with that comes a lot of green here, not only on the day chart, but also the week chart, where we see Bitcoin up almost 11% in the last seven days. Ethereum, very similar, 12.64%. Uh, Binance, 6.5%. Solana's up almost 15.5%. Uh, XRP, Doge, up almost 30%. So, looking very strong. Now, with that being said, historically, after a Bitcoin halving, which we had earlier this year in 2024, there is a Bitcoin bull run, which has historically started around the October, November, December time frame of the year the Bitcoin halving happened, which is right about where we are. So I think this is all looking very promising. Now, of course, we are looking at Holocoin here today. So taking a look at this one specifically, you can see that this is up 18.5% today alone. So very, very cool to see. If we look at the week chart, it is up 23.1%. So very, very cool with over 1,000 people giving their opinion here saying, uh, you know, 91% of that is coming out as a bullish state. Now, if we take a look at the all-time chart here, we can see this coin was two and a half cents back in 2021 during the last bull run. So that is over two cents of gain per coin that you have right now if you were to start mining it. So how do we get started mining? Well, what I'm going to have you do is go down in the description and click the link down below for unminable. Now, if you click the link down below as a sneak pre preview to the uh, future uh, steps here in the site, you will actually save 25% on your pool mining fee, which I'll get into in just a minute. But what you're going to want to do is find unminable. Now, what this site does is it lets you mine the most profitable and, you know, efficient algorithm for your hardware. So I always recommend starting off on whattomine.com, entering your specific setup, CPU, GPU, um, and it'll tell you what is best for you. Now, most people are going to want to use the Kapow algorithm. This is, you know, relevant for right now. So I do always recommend checking out what to mine just to make sure you're using the most efficient algorithm. But if you have a relatively new GPU, Kapow is going to be what you want to use. So what you're going to want to do is select get started with our wizard. There's a few options here. Basic is going to be, you know, good for 99% of people. Advanced if you want to be a little bit more specific, but I always go with basic. Now I'm going to be doing this tutorial based off the GPU mining path. If you are mining with a CPU, please feel free to select CPU. The tutorial is still very, very similar. Um, just a few different options at the end when you go to pick your miner. But once you select uh, GPU, you'll see you get the list of algorithms that you can choose. Again, I'm going to be going with Kapow, but please choose what's best for your hardware. And here's where you choose the coin that you want to mine. Now, of course, we are mining Holo Hot to Token today, but please feel free to choose what you're most interested in. Um, just make sure you enter in the right wallet address. Now, on the topic of wallet addresses, as you can see here, when I paste in my in this case, Ethereum address to get paid out in, uh, you can see it says, hey, everything looks good. If I delete this seven off the end here, it does throw a flag and say, hey, this doesn't seem to be valid. But if I replace that seven with an eight, you can see it says everything goes back to normal. So always do make sure you double and triple check your address because if you set this up with the wrong address and start mining, 
it's going to operate exactly as you see here in this tutorial and as you'd expect. Now with that being said, because of that, you are not going to get paid. So I'd hate to see you mining, 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 getting all these uh, holo coins and eventually go for the payout and realize that your address was wrong all along and not be able to get paid out. So once you've confirmed that, go ahead and select next. And here's the final step before downloading and starting the miner. This is the referral section if you have a code, which I have here on screen, Bitcoin Dash Tips, capital B, capital T. Now you'll notice mine came and populated right into that box. If you use the link down below, that is how it will work for you. If you just went on mineable.com, please feel free to type in Bitcoin Dash Tips. What that's going to do is it's going to save you 25% on your pool mining fee. So here on Unminable, there is a flat 1% mining fee, regardless of the coin or algorithm that you are mining. Meaning that if you mine, in this case, 100 hot token, you are going to pay one of those to Unminable. It does not matter if you mine that in a day or in a year, and it doesn't matter if hot token is two tenths of a penny or $20. You're always going to pay that one coin to them for every hundred. By using my referral code, you actually reduce that down to 0.75%, meaning you get to keep an additional 25% of the coins that you would have otherwise paid to Unminable just for using that code. Now, as always, there is this button here for continue without referral code. Feel free to do that if you don't want to use the code, but you will be paying that higher fee. So now we are at the final step here where, as you can see, you choose your miner and download it to get started. Now, I always recommend G Miner as this is something that's always worked really well for me. Um, I've used all these other miners as well, but for me, G Miner just seems to be the easiest and you know most reliable. Um, plus, it does support both NVIDIA and AMD GPUs, whereas some of these ones only support one or the other. So feel free to choose what's best for you, but the miner itself really shouldn't matter. So what you're going to do is select download minor files. This will take you to the GitHub page where you just select this Windows 64 zip here. That will download these zipped files to your PC. Now, please make sure you extract those files. If you don't extract them, you will get an error and you will not be able to mine. So if you're running into that, make sure you extracted those files. Um, the next thing you're going to do is come back to Unminable and select download.bat file. As you can see, Chrome has called out here and said, hey, this is an unverified file. Are you sure you want to be using that? Um, what you're going to have to do is select it and say download unverified file. If you're not comfortable doing this, please simply don't do it. It is that easy. Uh, just hit delete. But if you want to mine, go ahead and select download. It is just part of the process. Um, it's not just an unminable thing. It, it is really just a mining thing in general. Once you do that, just drag and drop the file that you just downloaded, the .bat file, into the extracted folder with all of the mining files from GitHub. So as you can see here, mine is listed right here, unminable, hot, kapow, gminer.bat. At this point, all you have to do is double click this to get started mining. Now, when you first double click this, you will get a pop up that says, hey, Windows protected your PC. Um, I've actually ran this file before when I was testing it, um, so I didn't get that pop up this time. But if you do get that pop up, you will have to say more info and then run anyway. Again, if you're not comfortable doing that, please simply don't do it. Um, there is no workaround, unfortunately. Um, what I would recommend is go out, uh, check out some of the other videos here on the channel about faucets, uh, cloud mining, things like that, other ways to earn crypto without having to download files. But as you can see here, we are up and running mining using my RTX 3070, and we are only about nine minutes into the recording. And of course, that included some market analysis on CoinMarketCap. So it is really that simple to get up and running mining here with Unminable. Now, two final pieces of information I like to leave you with. When you start mining here, it does take about 10 to 15 minutes for your stats to show up here in the addresses tab on Unminable. That's completely normal. If it still hasn't shown up after about an hour, I would double check to make sure you have the right address and maybe even just go back through the file uh, configuration that we just ran through. Um, as you can see, you know, once you kind of got an idea of what to click, it should only take about a few minutes to generate a new file. 
And on the other side, when you are done mining, all you have to do is find this window and select the red close X button. Now you might be thinking, why am I telling you how to close a window? That's pretty easy. Well, here on Unminable, for whatever reason, when you stop the miner, you may actually continue seeing stats and payments into your wallet here on the site for up to 12 hours after stopping the miner. I can personally say I've seen payments come in well beyond 12, 24 hours afterwards. It's a little weird. I don't have a good reason as to why it does that, but what I would say is, hey, you're not mining and you're still getting paid. I wouldn't be too upset about it. It just has led to some people saying, hey, you know, I closed out this CMD window, but I'm still getting paid. Is it mining in the background? The answer is no. As long as that's completely closed out, you are no longer mining. So with that being said, if you ran into any issues throughout this uh, tutorial here on your end, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I'm always happy to help troubleshoot and get you up and running. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, again, feel free to leave a comment down below. I do hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to Bitcoin Tips so you don't miss out on anything going on in the crypto world. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.